What's up guys, this is Tyler Mayforth wrapping up the uh, 2013 WAC Basketball Tournament. As you can see, I'm uh, in the interview room at the Orleans Hotel um, following Texas State's 74-65 to loss to New Mexico State. Um, what truly happened for the Bobcats, they were undone by a pair of horrible starts in the first half and in the second half. In the first half, they missed nine out of the first 10 shots. In the second half, they missed one out of their first, they made one of their first five shots and turned it over three times. So in total, in the first four minutes of the first half and the first four minutes of the second half, Texas State was a combined two of 14 with four turnovers. That's not going to get it done if you're trying to win a semifinal round game in a conference tournament. Um, I'm not sure what else I can say truly about the play of Joel Wright. I've not said anything yet today, but his play spoke for itself. Tonight, he labored. He was f battling the seven foot five freshman center, Sim Boulard, the entire game. Um, foul trouble got to him. He fouled out actually in 30, uh, let's see, what was that? 33 minutes. He still finished with 17 points and 11 rebounds. Uh, four of those were on the offensive glass. For the tournament, let me check right here. I uh, wrote it down in my game story, which you can see at uh, sammarcosrecord.com and in our print edition of the daily record as well. Um, Wright finished the tournament with um, 65 points and 27 rebounds. He shot 61.1%, and he also became the sixth Bobcat to score 600 or more points in a season, and the first since 1978 and 79. Um, Doug Davalo said after the game that Joel, to me, was the best player in this tournament. Um, he did everything he could in his power. I don't think you could truly argue with that fact. Uh, Joel, to me, was the MVP of this tournament to this time. But, of course, an MVP can't go to a team that's not in the final. The final will be tomorrow between New Mexico State and um, UT Arlington, who beat UTSA in the other semifinal. Um, but overall, Texas State had a tremendous night from also uh, Matt Staff, who also battled foul trouble. He finished with 13 points, 5 rebounds, had a steal in 27 minutes. Um, Deontay Jones hit several big threes in the second half, uh, the second of which brought Texas State within 7. Reed Cannon had um, a pair of free throws, bringing with within 5. Uh, Deontay Jones finished with 16 points and 4 rebounds in 33 minutes. He knocked down 4 three-pointers. Um, but on the other side, Texas State did a great job of limiting uh, Banja size, Banja C, Sai, anyway, S-Y, that's his last name, um, his performance, as well as Daniel Mullings, who were their two leading scorers coming into this game. They shot a combined three of eight and only scored uh, 13 points, but they got most of those at the free throw line. They were seven of 12. Um, but otherwise, it was a play of Renato Dixon, Bular, as well as Remy Berry, who came off the bench and hit, uh, I believe, not hit nine points in the late in the second half to kind of break it open a little bit and uh, send the Bobcats packing in the tournament. Overall, it was a fantastic tournament for the Bobcats. You can't say any more about their play. Um, they shocked everyone with that second round win over Denver. They shocked me even. Um, even they had to book rebook their flight. Um, to fly home. They chartered home, actually, uh, Friday night tonight. Um, but if I had to name an all-tournament team it's comprised solely of Texas State's players, um, obviously it starts number one with uh, Joel Wright. Then number two, you'd have to go um, Deontay Jones. Three, uh, you'd have to go Phil Hawkins. Basically, the entire starting five played so well that Doug Davalos... Um, whose contract expired at the end of the season, was uh, allowed to go with a shorter bench. So Reed Cannon, Matt Staff, Joel Wright, Phil Hawkins, and uh, Deontay Jones truly uh, stepped it up. And uh, Texas State finished with a 12-22 and overall record. Um, and next year they'll be in the Sun Belt. So that will be their third conference in the last three years. Um, but this was a tremendous run. Um, hopefully you enjoyed my coverage of the team in this tournament. Um, you can always check out my blog, texasstatesports.com. You can follow me on Twitter at SMDRTyler. And as always, you can find us online at sammarcosrecord.com.
Thanks a lot.